Hey folks, um, I'm gonna do a beer review. I'm, I'm living dangerously. I know I haven't done one in uh, so many years, I mean days. So that's got Kraken. This one is St. Arnold's Icon. It's their brown porter. This is like their specialty series, like one offs. Kind of like the Real Ale's uh, Brewer's Cut series. And usually it would be more adventurous beers or beers that or styles that um, don't really get brewed that often but it says here uh, uh, let's see, brown porter which is not very adventurous but let's see how it goes I was kind of disappointed with their icon red I think which is it said it was a Belgian South Hill but it was just like an amber ale with some sugar added I was disappointed and I didn't buy any of their uh, other Icon series that came in the stores. But this one was a single and it was only like two bucks. So I said, oh, might as well. Let's give it a pour. Let's see if this uh, stacks up to the the better porters out there. My favorite being the Meantime and the, the Fuller's London Porter. Excellent beers. Um, yeah, that's like a porter, it's brown. You can actually see through it. It's not dark enough, not black. And off-white color head. Some of the St. Arnold beers really don't have that much head, but this one does. <laughs> and um, I don't know what the alcohol percentage is. Kind of vague on the on the bottle. But it was packaged on 2-27-14, so almost two months old. Let's go for a sniff. <sighs> Very nice uh, cocoa, chocolate, usual porter aromas. <sighs> Just very, very typical but very nice smelling beer for a porter. Not really getting much else. Just that ro like slightly roasted uh, cocoa powder notes. It's like almost like uh, cocoa pebbles, that kind of aroma. Or like the Hershey's cocoa powder. <sighs> nice though. Let's go for a swig. Hmm. Very, very, very nice. <laughs> very good. I keep on saying nice. I should say very good. Uh, it's not a. It's not a person. A beer can't be nice, can it? Anyways, very good. Um. Just straight up, uh, slightly roasted uh, cocoa, toffee, slight caramel, a hot nuts flavor going on. It's just really standard porter notes. Uh, nothing really uh, unusual here, but very, very good. It's a well crafted porter. Let's go for another slug. I really like it. It's it's like straight on. There's no surprises here, but uh, I guess that's what they're aiming for. I was thinking it'll be a little bit more bolder, like more of a charred note or a hop note or something else. But it really no surprise here. It's like a standard uh, English style porter. Uh, very quaffable. I could drink. I probably could drink this all night. So I give it an eight. It's the drinkability really just helps this beer a lot. Like, there's no bold, unusual flavors. It's just straight up uh, standard text porter, English porter, which is not a bad thing in my book. I like porters a lot. <laughs> Let's go for a final swig. A little bit of like a a venuous, um, like slightly black cherry note, but it's overwhelmingly the cocoa powder and chocolate, roasted, uh, nutty flavors. Yeah, um, Saint Arnold, Icon, Brown Porter, good stuff. That's it for now, folks. Just.